Hi there, back again in our second video where I will show you our first experiment using Arduino and the experiment name is Blink and LED. So uh, if you don't know about the term LED, let me explain you with a picture. Well, you can see uh, it's a traffic light, right? And three lights are seen, red, yellow and the green. But if you look a bit closer to those lights, you will see there are some tiny dots, right? Those dots are nothing but known as LED. Well, now if we look more about the LED, you will see it's something kind of like this. All right. Now, can you tell me like what we need to lighten this LED? Well, uh, some of you might have think that, yeah, we need a battery. And yes, that's correct. We need a battery to something power up. Uh, like in the childhood, we used to play toys and uh, collect batteries and put the put them on the toys and the toys start playing, right? So for power up anything, we need battery or any power source. Now, well, every battery has two parts. One is positive and one is negative. But for every project in the Arduino, whatever we do, we will think of the positive as VCC and the negative as ground, alright? Can LED also have a positive or negative or a ground or VCC? Well, let's get back to this. The answer is yes. LED light also have two separate parts and one is positive and one is negative or you can say one is VCC and another one is ground. Well, you can see that in the LED, it's one leg is longer than the other and the longer leg is positive one and the shorter one is negative. That's very easy to remember and I have some LEDs in my hand and if you can see that uh, one leg is longer and the other one is shorter. So now what else we need alongside with the Arduino to turn on this light okay we need register well what is that our register is nothing but it just lessen the flow of current uh, let me show you with the uh, image uh, here you can see there's a canal over here and the red guy the red guy is actually the register he just don't let the amp which is current to flow on on his full speed so the volt that means the battery power is pushing and register are there to stop the flow of the current a bit but why we actually need the register well because the led sometimes can be get damaged due to over power so ensure a constant flow of the power we should always use a register and another thing we need is a breadboard finally we need an arduino cable and our arduino a breadboard some wires to connect the leds registers and finally the leds last day we discussed about the arduino ide where we, we can write our code and check if the code is correct or not but uh, for lighten this at first we have to connect this with our arduino then we can upload our code on here so how to connect the led to the arduino well you can see uh, here is an image, 3D uh, image of an Arduino and you can see there are a lot of pins and hoses so uh, it's so confusing like because where are you going to connect the LED because the LED is only two pin and the Arduino is several pins here so if you, will, if you look closer here you can see more specifically that there are 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 13 pin and also there are something known as GND and I mentioned that earlier uh, it was ground and whatever is minus it's known as ground and whatever is plus is known as VCC in the Arduino as you can see that here is something written as VCC which is 5 volt and 3.3 volt this one these are the power sources of the Arduino and you can connect anything with this power source and also here you can see two GND and GND that means two ground and here are some analog pins which written with A at the starting and right here these are known as digital PWM known as digital pin so we have two types of pin in the Arduino one is analog and the other one is digital so now let's move on to here and we can see that there's a metallic thing and it's for connecting the USB through the computer we can connect USB here and the other USB will be connected to the computer so that we can upload our code and check our code and in this port you can power give power to the Arduino this is the another power source of the Arduino we actually don't need this currently like we can also give power to the Arduino uh, from our computer so uh, we understand the Arduino and LED in the next class we will learn about the Arduino LED code and how to connect the LED so uh, that's all for today see you in the next class keep following me goodbye